welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we would design and we would try to simulate a monostable application circuit using Tinkercad for more such videos request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below let us start the circuit design so click on circuits and we have to create a new circuit so this particular design platform will appear and we require a breadboard for this particular simulation so select the breadboard and place this particular breadboard on the design area in order to rotate use the R button on the keyboard next we have to place a triple five timer so place this particular triple five timer on the breadboard now for a mono stable application circuit we require a resistor and a capacitor now we require a power supply in order to power the triple five timer so place the power supply as shown in this particular tutorial let the voltage be 5 volt and the current be 5 ampere now from the positive terminal of the power supply is connected to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative terminal of the power supply is connected to the negative end of the rail board as shown in this particular design tutorial now connect the positive rail from one end to the other end of the breadboard now connect the negative terminal of the breadboard to the other end of the negative terminal of the breadboard and the positive terminal to the positive terminal of the breadboard next we have to place the ground to the negative terminal of the breadboard and the reset pin to the positive terminal of the breadboard next connect the supply to the positive end of the breadboard now the pin number 7 and 6 that is the discharge pin and the threshold pin we must short this particular pin and we have to place a resistor and a capacitor so click on resistor and place this particular resistor on the breadboard and next we have to place the capacitor so the value of resistance will be 1 kilo ohm now connect the supply that is supply to the positive terminal of the resistor and now place a capacitor so the other end of the resistor is connected to the capacitor and the other end of the capacitor is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard now let the value of resistor uh, be around 1 kilo ohm and uh, the value of a capacitor be around 4.7 microfarad now from the threshold pin connect the threshold pin to the terminal 1 of the resistor next we have to place a oscilloscope and a function generator so place this particular oscilloscope as shown in this particular tutorial and connect the negative terminal of the oscilloscope to the negative rail of the breadboard and 
the positive terminal of the oscilloscope to the terminal number 1 of the resistor. Now we have to place a second oscilloscope and a function generator for this particular simulation. So place the function generator as shown in this particular tutorial. Connect the negative terminal to the negative rail of the oscilloscope and the positive terminal to the positive rail of the oscilloscope. Now we must place the second resistor on this particular breadboard and let the value of resistor be around 470 ohm. Now from the output terminal of triple five timer connect this to terminal 2 of resistor. Now we also require a buzzer and place this buzzer on the breadboard. Now the other end of the resistor terminal 1 of the resistor is connected to the positive terminal of the buzzer and the negative terminal is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now connect the positive terminal of the function generator to the trigger pin of the triple five timer. Now we have to click on this particular function generator, define the frequency as one kilohertz, define the amplitude as five volt, define the DC offset as zero and define the function as the sine wave. Now the power supply will be 5 volt and 5 ampere and next we have to place the second oscilloscope. So place this particular oscilloscope as shown in this tutorial. The negative terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the negative rail of the breadboard and the positive terminal of the oscilloscope will be connected across the output of the triple five timer or to the input of the function generator. In this particular oscilloscope will be used to check the waveform across the function generator and we will also place the third oscilloscope for this particular design and this particular oscilloscope will help us to determine the output waveform of this particular circuit. So the positive terminal is connected to the output of triple five timer and the negative terminal will be connected to the negative rail of the breadboard or to the negative terminal of the other oscilloscope. Now let us adjust the time for division for all the oscilloscope where we will make this as 1 milliseconds and run this particular simulation. see the monostable application circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.